Tesla kind of just had like a mini event talking about how they're going to be investing well over three and a half billion dollars into Giga Nevada. So it started just as a tweet with this really cool render and then it was followed up by a presentation that Elon Musk gave at the event which they uploaded onto their YouTube channel. Watch through the event and there's not a bunch of like headlining like groundbreaking announcements like Tesla's gonna introduce the Model B because Elon keeps tweeting about bees and that's got everybody thinking but still some overall pretty important things for the future of the company and of course my favorite leaves us lots to speculate on so for one this updated layout of Giga Nevada will allow them to bring the Tesla semi to high volume production so this was basically what was rumored for years Giga Nevada was going to start with a pilot line most sources were claiming that that pilot line was only going to be building maybe a few dozen semi trucks per month so nothing really that seriously high production volume but now they're saying this is where all Tesla semis basically are going to be manufactured. I'm pretty sure this means that Giga Texas has no immediate plans either to produce Tesla semi like they originally said in the past. And the way they're phrasing this investment, it appears that this is how they plan to achieve the 50,000 Tesla semis a year run rate. It's going to be through this facility. And part of the reason we probably still don't know about the battery pack or the payload capacity of the Tesla semi is it's kind of actively ongoing in terms of research into development. So Elon specified on the previous earnings call that the Tesla semi is not using 4680 cells yet, but that's the other big part of this equation. So they're bringing 4680 battery production to Giga Nevada now, and they plan in this first wave of investment to be able to scale it to around 100 gigawatt hours a year, which is great. But Elon said in the presentation that they don't want to stop there, and their end goal is actually to get closer to like 500 gigawatt hours annually. But I noticed that's something that Elon said not something that Tesla said on the website. So they probably want to taper expectations a little bit. They're not exactly sure how quickly you can go from 100 gigawatt hours to 500 gigawatt hours. It could take a decade, so they probably don't want to set hypes too high because that's half a terawatt hour coming out of one factory, which is amazing. But yeah, my biggest question that I still can't really get concrete answers from is, you know, Giga Nevada, they originally intended it to be much bigger and produce a lot more than what it's currently producing, but we were told told by Tesla and others that the biggest problem with ramping up and growing Giga Nevada is getting enough people to actually want to move and work there. And hey, I got nothing against Nevada, actually. I am not terribly far away from this factory line, but I have been out there before, and sure, it's pretty when there's like wild horses running around the factory and there's snow in the mountains, but it sounds like they just have a much harder time finding a large workforce that is willing to actually move there, and that was preventing a lot of the scaling issues, but Elon also mentioned at the presentation that the factory ended up not needing to be as big as they thought in order to achieve their battery production goals. So even though it's not as gargantuan as they thought, you know, Tesla Fremont has still scaled up incredibly well. And I'm guessing that a lot of the 2170 cells that are built at this facility also are going to Giga Texas because they're still building a lot of 2170 Model Ys. So they still achieved their goals. It's just there's a reason it didn't expand much further than it did until now. So I'm wondering how they're going to convince more people to move out there and they say they want to get an extra 3,000 employees on top of the employees they already have so hopefully they're offering some really good competitive pay to get people out there but the speculation part comes in when Tesla says things like they want to scale it up to 100 gigawatt hours a year and they estimate that could translate to around one and a half million light duty electric vehicles in the future so for one they didn't really say that they expected to build Model Ys or Model 3s at Giga Nevada. Nevada. Maybe we have to wait for Investor Day for them to talk about the Generation 3 platform and where that will be built, but they didn't really go into that today. And if that was the case, why do this announcement like right before the earnings call? The timing does feel a little bit odd. But what it does indicate for long-term production ramping is the idea that Tesla is probably going to start switching to 4680 cells even in the Model 3, hopefully within the next year or two, because they didn't really talk too much about expanding their 2170 cell production output, although so they did say they would continue to increase orders from their existing suppliers. This is just supplemental capacity, but previously we didn't really know if Tesla was ever going to bring 4680 cells to the Model 3. We thought maybe, but this, in my opinion, is a better indicator of what's to come. And because of the form factor of 4680 cells, at least in their current state, I don't think that necessarily means that you're going to be getting a 400 mile range Model 3 anytime soon. My guess is the focus is going to be more about scale and lowering cost. So as they ramp up Giga Nevada to be 
supplying more and more 4680 cells for Fremont and other factories, maybe that could mean bringing structural battery packs and hopefully single piece castings to the Model 3 as well, and that can help bring the price down, but the range, probably not much better or that much different than what we have today based on the current energy density of 4680 cells. I'm hopeful that in the future they can rapidly increase the energy density of these cells, but watching Tesla and watching battery chemistries improve over time, it tends to not exactly sneak up on you really quick. And currently, 4680 cells are actually less energy dense than 2170 cells, but my assumption is they are way cheaper to build. So having a structural battery pack, there's a lot of cost savings to that and a lot of steps you get to bypass in the manufacturing process, but over time, they'll likely increase the energy density. But similar to 2170s, it tends to be on average by around like four or 5% a year, which means that we're not going to just suddenly double the energy capacity of a single cell within the span of a couple years. Like, I think it's going to be a slow, steady increase, but ultimately, I think the future is going to be cheaper EVs with the same range as today. Not so much cheaper EVs with more range than we have today, but that's a different discussion. It also indicates that Tesla plans on increasing output, I think, of their Fremont facility, and, you know, I think switching the Model 3 to single-piece castings and a structural pack would absolutely help with that, especially if they've got, you know, 100 gigawatt hours being produced at Giga Nevada, which is just a couple hours away, and they're going to be building lots of Tesla semis, which I'm sure will be capable of transporting cargo and parts and batteries to and from Giga Nevada and Fremont, and perhaps even if Giga Texas is in need of more battery cells than they can produce, Giga Nevada should help out with that over the long term as well. So the renders look beautiful. I love seeing the big old solar Tesla logo on the top of the buildings, and I like knowing that Tesla still has an extreme focus on battery production because that ultimately I think is going to be the biggest part of the business, just selling batteries both for energy storage like in power walls and mega pack and in the form of electric vehicles that people enjoy and are affordable. So these are the kinds of like good announcements you like to hear, even if they don't necessarily blow our minds as much as, you know, a Tesla bot announcement or robo taxi or we're going to unveil a new cyber truck or a new SUV. You know, those are fun, but this is just kind of like the vegetables that you got to eat before you get dessert. So happy to see it. Happy to know Tesla is growing and expanding. What did you guys think of the announcement? How do you feel about the timing of it all? Do you think that they're going to eventually start building other vehicles at Giga Nevada outside of just the semi truck? All those thoughts, let me know down in the comments below what you're thinking. And thank you to everybody supporting the channel directly, just as a little bit of an update, because I realized, you know, the Patreon used to be for the Tesla fund, but it's not really a Tesla fund anymore. It's just kind of general support. I'm actually going to start offering lower priced options for your name to be in the credits through the YouTube channel membership tab, because on my other YouTube channel, I've had great success with YouTube channel membership supporting, and now it's only five bucks a month if you want your name in the credits, or you want to contact me more directly and that kind of thing. So that's how you can mega charge the channel, but if you just want behind the scenes updates or voting on future videos or just more lighter support, you can still supercharge the channel. Any and all you guys support is very much appreciated and of course not expected at all. No problem with just watching the videos. That seriously helps us out a ton too. So thanks again. Have an excellent rest of your day.